So what is Terraform? Terraform is a tool that can manage objects. For example, objects in clouds. For example, objects in uh, Azure or in AWS or in uh, Google Cloud Platform. You can create different types of resources there. For example, virtual machines, websites, uh, databases. Uh, in order to uh, be able to talk to different clouds like this, Terraform needs um, unique uh, providers which are created uh, especially for those uh, cloud platforms. In order to talk to um, Azure, you need Azure provider. For AWS, there is a AWS provider and for Google Cloud Platform, there is a GCP provider. Um, so let's look at some example I have. Terraform template is a definition of what needs to be created um, on, for example, a cloud, cloud platform like Azure. Azure is my example here. Um, here I define configuration for Terraform itself. So yeah, it's in a file called main.tf. It doesn't have to name like that. It just need to have a extension tf. That's it. I have single file with a configuration for Terraform. I require Terraform version like this and I require provider called Azure RM, which can talk to Azure and I need a version like that for those for this provider. Next I have a small section with configuration for that provider itself, but I don't have any configuration so it's empty. Next is a set of resources I want to create on Azure. As you can see there are two resources. First of all them is a resource group. Second one is static website. You can see that this um, word starts from Azure RM, which highlights to you that this is a type of resource which belongs to Azure RM provider, which is basically Azure resource. Next, you can see the name of this resource. It is required because you can have more than one resource group definitions in your template. For example, you can have two of them. In this case, you need to uh, have something like that. But these uh, resources must have unique names. So that would be uh, my resource group two, for example. Okay. So what else? I have a definition for this resource group, which consists of name for that resource group and location. There are, uh, for different types of resources, there are different properties and you can see uh, the set of properties for a resource you want to use uh, on um, uh, Terraform documentation. So if you just Google it, you will find something like this. So it's HashiCorp Azure RM version like this and Azure RM resource group. It has uh, all nodes, all documentation, all definition, everything is uh, highlighted, what, what is required, what is optional and so on. If you want to have static website, you can again Google this type of resource and you will see what can be configured here. So I just set uh, required properties which are enough to create this resource and I also specified this uh, property depends on and here I refer to this uh, type of resource and this name in particular. That means 
uh, I want Terraform to create this resource first and this only after that because a uh, website needs to be created inside resource group so resource group should exist uh, by the time when I create when I try to create a static website okay uh, how to make it work that's that's it we can we can make it work how to do this first you need to have Terraform CLI installed on your uh, operating system um, you can do this uh, by following the uh, official documentation of how to do this for your operating system second um, since um, you uh, specified concrete uh, provider for your template you need to make sure that it it exists uh, terraform is able to download this provider automatically uh, to uh, make sure that everything is on pl in place you need to do this you need to uh, navigate to the folder where template is and do this terraform init here terraform will uh, download required resource provider provider uh, for Azure and now terraform is able to talk to Azure and tell Azure what to create. We will tell uh, Azure to create a resource group and static website. But how Terraform connects to uh, our um, environment on Azure, subscription and account, right? In order to do this, a uh, simple way is to um connect the um, command line uh, interface context to Azure using for example Azure CLI you can do something like a Z login where you authenticated uh, on Azure you can um, talk to Azure your account on Azure through um, Azure CLI by the way, if you don't have Azure CLI, you can install it following official documentation. So, in order to uh, tell Terraform to connect to our account on Azure and create resources, we need to do uh, like this. Okay, sorry. Terraform apply. Now I told Terraform to apply my template uh, on uh, Azure, which is uh, uh, available through a connection that I established from my current console to my account and using a provider Azure RM from Terraform. So now Terraform uh, connected to my Azure account and checked that those resources were not created yet. And it tells me that it, it will try to create them, try to add them. So here are definitions of those resources. You can see that some properties are defined as I defined them in template some are not yet known and will be known after apply after Terraform applies my template and um, we will get back to this uh, known after apply a little bit later in following videos so now I just verify that this is exactly what I want and I say yes now Terraform uh, uses provider Azure RM to connect to Azure through my established uh, authenticated session through Azure CLI 
okay here is my resource it is created exactly as uh, it is defined on the template and I can use it the advantage of using Terraform to create resources is that you need to define template once and next you can create development staging production you can create a uh, feature branch environments and they will be exactly the same another advantage of terraform is that it is cross-platform but it is not the class cross-platform in the context of you just replace a provider and um, for example from Azure to AWS and it will now manage resources on AWS no because these resources uh, were defined only for Azure RM provider to manage resources on AWS you need to have different resources so you cannot switch like that what you can do and what is in the context of cross-platform for uh, Terraform is that you can mix your template um, by having resources and providers for different clouds for example Azure and AWS and since they are in the same template you can uh, cross-link properties of these resources so for example it is uh, easier for you to establish direct communication direct connection uh, for for example VM on Azure and VM for uh, AWS because they will know each other because they are defined in the same template and you somehow connected them together if you would use different tools and templates you would have to uh, somehow um, link them uh, and make uh, additional efforts to make it happen so here is uh, the tool that can make it for you okay we have seen that these resources were created and now we can um, remove them since we don't need them anymore in order to do this we need to type terraform destroy now terraform will verify what was created before and uh, identify resources which were created by this terraform template not everything it will not de destroy everything on your account it will destroy only what was created by this uh, template so these resources are identified and highlighted here as to be destroyed now you need to type yes and it will destroy them so we will do this just to clean up what we have done in this video okay now it is destroyed I can check it here okay it's not available anymore and um, what I can do now I can use this template to deploy um, infrastructure exactly as it was done before again and again and again and I can uh, even pass uh, even give this template to somebody and say if you apply this template you will have those resources there is no uh, definition of concrete uh, Azure account here so it's only definition of the infrastructure I hope um, it was not um, complicated if you have any questions or especially if you can correct me somewhere please um, leave comment below the video and I will be happy to answer thank you